paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A sermon. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. People sometimes say to me, Dave, what exactly are you trying to accomplish? with all the stuff you say and do online. You say you're not trying to convince anyone of anything. You say you're just speaking to the like-minded that might be out there somewhere. You have Google Hangouts and make documentaries and feature people's works. You talk about paradigms and dichotomies and state of being and quantum physics and all this stuff and quite frankly, a lot of it seems pretty crazy. What are you on about anyways? Well, I've recently come across a video made by a lady who runs a YouTube channel called Cracking the Nutshell, and there is a part in this video which I feel she answers that question better than I could. So I feel that having Cracking the Nutshell as the title of this video is appropriate. It describes what I feel I'm doing, and it also tells you where you can find her. So now I'm going to let her explain what I'm on about. I feel her words resonate with how I feel about it. There are so many ways to describe or to model reality. Well, I certainly love to challenge the status quo. The last thing I would want here is to fall into another dogmatic trap. Um, my aim is to challenge um, ideas uh, and to explore alternative ideas, ideas that make more sense to me, ideas that perhaps um, agree a bit more with my personal subjective experience, um, with what I feel life may ultimately be all about, I guess. And all I want is just to share my thoughts, to share my journey. I think we all go through it and sometimes um, some of us are kind of a bit nerdy about it all and, and, and kind of lose a, a few nights of sleep thinking about these things. I think, after all, you know, it's just worth sharing it. It's just something that, what's the point of me thinking every, every single day, you know, about what it's all about if I, you know, don't share my journey with anybody. Uh, and hopefully, I don't know, I can bring this smile to your face with my videos, I can uh, just bring you, uh, send you maybe a little shot of inspiration, uh, a little sense of awe, of wonder, and if I can achieve that then uh, I think I've achieved something. I am not here to convince anybody of anything, uh, this is not what I'm about at all. There is no point, there is no benefit whatsoever in trying to change somebody's belief or disbelief system. Uh, but I think it's really important to always push the boundaries, to explore the fringes, um, to look at the validity of those ideas that are currently ignored or even ridiculed by mainstream science and perhaps make some people feel a little bit uncomfortable along the way. Um, yeah, give them a little push so that they, well at the very least, they can have a, a little 
uncomfortable swim in that cognitive dissonance swimming pool. Um, that is always a good thing. This is the most important thing to continue to reevaluate our values, our, um, our story of the world, our description of the world, our models of the world. Perhaps one of the most important things to remember is, as Werner Heisenberg said, not only is the universe stranger than what we think, it is stranger than what we can think. We are born, we grow up, we learn, we fear, we love, we succeed, we fail, we endure, we suffer, and throughout all these we can't help but wonder what is all this struggle for? Because deep down, what each and every one of us wants is an answer to the question, who am I? What am I here for? What is the purpose of my life? How can I be happier? How can I make a difference? What is the meaning of existence? Ask yourself, if I look back at my life right now, knowing that I might die tomorrow, will I be happy and at peace with the way I have grown and learned and changed? Will I be happy with the way I have treated others? Will I be happy with the way people will remember me? One of the most important elements here is being able to ask ourselves this question. From what framework, from from what worldview, from what perspective are we going to attempt to answer these questions? From a framework based on dogma, blind belief, superstition, close-mindedness? Or from a framework based on open-minded skepticism? Our own subjective experience, direct introspection, and of course, all the available scientific evidence. And this includes all the evidence which may currently be ignored and ridiculed by the mainstream. Do your own research. The information is out there. And of course, in here. Always be skeptical when new information comes in. Um, try to always stay away from complete belief and disbelief. Evaluate the data, keep an open mind and try to consider all possibilities without prejudice or preconceptions. So, um, yeah, trust your intuition and always 